Hello everybody, welcome to something a little bit different, it's not your typical fan game fair, it's uh, who knows what that says, and it's all artifacty, which is brilliant. This is uh, Overdrive, uh, a reasonably new fan game from the, the world of Japan, the Japanese fan games, the best of course, not to discredit any that are not Japanese. Uh, version 0.02 it was only released in 2015, so this is brand new, let's, uh, let's get... Let's get cracking then. Lovely music. Sad to see it go. Presumably this is telling us how to dream. Important instructions here. Don't need those. Don't need those. I know what to dream, mate. And I guess this is us. This is us, little girl. Little world. One of the things that are a strange kind of perspective. Very peculiar. It doesn't want to go outside, of course. <laughs> Not gonna skewer those tropes now, are you? But she is well learned. This one is obviously a, fe a female. Look, um, oscilloscope, computer, all the modern conveniences you need. But we're not going to save. We haven't even gone into this giant microwave yet. Adventure. So we microwaved ourselves, and we ended up in demon area. And I suppose instead of doors, we have. Little lights encased in bird cages. Let's try talking to one. And what do you know? We're in Fish Pearl World. I had a dream about Fish Pearl World the other day. Not Fish Pearl World, Fish Pill World. It didn't look quite like this though. A strange kind of coral atmosphere. There's something quite charming about this. It takes me back to the original Yumi Nikki. But you can see a little bit of where this might be a little bit of polish the character. Uh, I trust that the character's name is 323. Yes, I know. Oh, well, look at that. A fabulous pink archway. Don't mind if I do. Which takes us to another planet. How mysterious. I assume it's another planet. Could be, I don't know, Kansas. Kansas is purple, isn't it? I have to say, this area is really nice. I like the ambience of it a lot. Very purple. If I could choose the carpet to have pretty much any ceremony that I would attend, including my own birth, my own death, marriage, divorce, uh, knighthood, maybe, I would have purple with floating rocks. Even the drink, the drinks would be purple with uh, floating black ice cubes. Yeah, delicious. Um, yeah, but I like the music here. It's, it's very... I don't know what it is. It's got a, a coral note to it. Not like in the sea, idiot. Like, as in like a choir. Or like a... Uh, no. Enough of that. So, what are we, what are we looking for here? I guess we're looking for the gimmick. I'm always looking for the gimmick. Gimmick Hunter Deluxe. Uh, so in case this isn't apparent, this is a uh, post-commentary. I'm, I'm recording this after the fact. I had a, a week's break where I wasn't at my usual address. Would you look at that? What is that? Oh, that little musical jingle. You might not even be able to see what, what changed there. It's quite difficult to spot. Kind of looked like she was holding an eraser or something. That's actually a laser gun. I know that doesn't make any sense looking at what that is. It's like a sort of ball of paper floating in the air, but uh, trust me, it's a laser gun. Trust me. I know this. I, I know I'm an expert on laser guns. I know everything about zappers, phasers, real guns. I'm, trying, I'm, trying, I'm like, what the, what the hell's actually happening here? I also wasn't sure I got it. Um, so, yes, this is post commentary. I had a week off. Not a week off gaming, a week off being in. The glorious city of, uh, well, it's not that glorious, is it? I had, a, I had a week away, right? I had a week away. I recorded some commentary, but I did not take my fabulous Yeti microphone with me. Which meant I had to use the microphone on my new headset. And, uh, verdict's out, guys. Kings, Kingston's HyperX 2 headset. Which I might put a picture up or something. Um, the microphone's not very good. In fact, that's the discredit to bad microphones. The microphone is just pretty shocking. On that Logitech one, 
as you guys will know, because I used it to record probably between episodes 14 to 50, 60. No, further than that, probably the fucking 70s. It's not 80s, of uh, Yum Tuki. Uh, it sounded brilliant. Well, it sounded good. It doesn't sound as good as this, but obviously this has its own potential drawbacks, which I have found out a way that I'm hoping is going to sort it. Right, can we figure out how to wake up? Not if we don't read the instructions anyway. Backspace, tab, insert. Could be any of these buttons. We, we just don't know. My, my efforts to learn. That's a quick game. We don't want to do that. Um, it says 323 on the character screen. I only just noticed that. Uh, my efforts to learn the Japanese have slowed down considerably as I'm trying to learn and do lots of things at the same time. And as usual, when I do these things, it all moves forward very slowly. Like yeah, who, some people who have been watching the series for a while might remember I was talking about like, making a game quite some time ago. That's still a thing. You may not believe it. That's still a thing. Um, I might just put some things on the internet just to prove that I'm not making that shit up. Ah, oh, thank God. Sweet release. Back to pillfish. F fish pill. Fish fish pill. It's very nice. Pill wouldn't like that. Well, I suppose it's a change, at least. And would you look at that? Tangerine arches. Oh, good. Well, what are these guys? Take that. Uh-oh. I hope that wasn't important. I wish I knew I had a dangerous weapon out. I guess we just killed one of the teleporters. Oops. Oops. I hope we didn't need that one. It's alright. I have a track record for acing mazes. That one's dark colour. Well, that area was brief. Oh, Jesus. I almost forgot about this. Oh, this, this is like... If I had to describe one thing I hate about fan games, Tuki is extremely bad for this. The music and areas like this just... Ugh. This has got to be one of the most orally, orally offensive areas. I'm just waiting to hear the rings. Just waiting to hear them. Ugh. And this is from someone who's just started taking a liking for proper noise, like, you know, proper, proper noise music. That is extreme. So, yeah. That one makes a cool noise. It's like a spaceship firing a laser. Or is it a phaser? This is kind of like a triangle. Just loads of rings here. Sonic would be right in his element. Um, a little bit of trivia, it's not particularly interesting. Um, this is not made in RPG Maker, like most fan games. This is made in Wolf RPG. Those of you who play lots of RPGs, play lots of unusual Japanese games, you know what I mean. You know what kind of games I'm referring to. Wolf RPG. It's like the other one. What's this little string? Let's give it a pull. Now, you might need to adjust your television sets at home because when I got here, I was looking at this and I was like, what the fuck is even here? I couldn't see anything. I was recording on a television. A television is notorious for having an awful contrast. So, I was just squinting, pitching my head up at it going, what is any of this? We're just sitting down because that's what little girls do. That's what they all do. It's the only action little girls can take in 2016. They can sit down. This is why they need feminist movements, because they're only just going to stand in this hand. That's the other thing that, that girls can do in 2016. They can stand inside a hand. In Japanese fan games, hand stands inside you. Or do you stand inside the hand? I don't know, but it sounds sexual either way. And there's all the string everywhere. And there's a love heart. I mean, how could this not be interpreted as some kind of innuendo? Jesus, I hope 323 is not a... Oh, Jesus, no. No. I don't know. I don't know. Yes, um, 
wolf RPG, which is, I don't know, I haven't seen many other fighting games in a wolf RPG, so... It's nice, it's a change. It means you get that kind of... It's like a half cell movement, I guess is the way to describe that. Let's go. I'm a fan. They've managed to make it look a lot like RPG Maker. I suppose it's slightly less good. I mean, they should be pushing the frontiers. I say they, as far as I understand, this is made by singular person. Um, per pardon if I ape the pronunciation. Ar Amata? Amata. 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 You can tell I've been doing loads of Japanese because if I'm trying to pronounce these characters, I I'm, I'm completely aping it. It's awful. I know. I know a person that's like a Japanese. I know that little character quite well now. I don't know why. So this area is kind of unfortunately fitting into one of these other stereotypes that fan games often have. Big area, not a lot happening. Lots of repetitive things in this in uh, nondescript landmarks. I mean, I guess it's okay. The music's all right, but we've been here so long already. It's already wearing a bit thin. We're just waiting for the gimmick to emerge in all its glory, I guess. I mean, that's fine. You're gonna have a bit of ambience. And I guess this is this is only version 0 0.02. I think there's only been two releases of this. Which is not... It's not a lot. Some of them kind of look like moustaches. If you look at them the right angle. That one, yeah, that one does. Moustache. Good. Maybe they could have a fan game about a character with a moustache. I mean, people with moustaches have dreams as well, don't they? They must do. They must do. Have a dream about shaving your moustache. I don't have a moustache. I, can, I can't even stand having a facial hair at all. I barely even stand having a face most mornings. Take a blade to it, just... Come on. And suddenly it changes to white. Don't adjust your TV sets. This is also part of the area. And the music kind of goes backwards. Which is fine. I kind of like that. But of course, I'm, I'm at this point wondering what exactly triggered this? Why did this happen? What do I get out of it? Can I walk in any more hands? Can I have a moustache? Is there a moustache effect in this game? Can I have something to do? The answer is, you know, actually, no. But it doesn't mean we can, we can speed around in here. Which also leads to the next point about young 323's footstep noise, which is, um, it's, it's a difficult noise to describe. It's kind of like, like a car's exhaust leaking oil. I don't know why the exhaust would be leaking oil. Or, you know those little tin cans you get that have oil in them? It's like that. In you know, the metal cans, little ones. That's the noise it's like when she runs around. It looks like she's got some big fuck off wellies as well. So, I don't know. Wellies are bad. There's three in a row here. I mean, that's got to be significant, right? Fuck you, no, it's not. It could be that we need some kind of effect. They're, they're not called effects in this game. Have to hasten to add, they're not called effects. Don't touch it. No. Oh. I'm like, fuck that. Let's reset. I'm really disappointed. But then, it changes back. No explanation given. No explanation needed, that's it, you're in the white area. You're in the white area. So the, yes, the effects are not called effects, they're called concepts. And it just changes again, because at this point, who cares, right? It's just changing backwards and forwards, because it wants to. Um, concepts. You get concepts. Come on, we can figure out how to wake up already. It's one of these options. Numlock, gotta be numlock. But it's not numlock. Guys, don't, don't listen to me. It's tab. Tab. Tab in it. Go ahead, tab. And that's our first uh, experiment over. Well done, us, eh? Got lots out of it. Let's log it all on our computer. Dear diary. Dear diary. Right, let's go again. Let's go again. I'm pumped up. 
Pumped up, yeah, more experiments. We've got to put our little girl to work. How else is she going to be able to afford to stay in this massive room? God, if this room was in London. God, I think how much you'd have to pay. It'd be huge. Look at these guys. I'll sit down in front of them, that's what he does. Sign of respect. Here, how do you feel about fucking ray guns, mate? Yeah, take that. You got owned. You can't use it like a gun. I, I did try that. You can't do it other than at point blank range, but it does have a weird kind of hitbox. As you saw, I wasn't completely aligned with that guy. And that's what happened to people who are not completely aligned with me. They get fucking ray gunned. They get shot down in their prime with a laser beam. Eradicated from existence. Oh no, there's a tile set that's offensive, holy Jesus. That floor. If I ran a shop, I'd have that on the floor. I'd also sell loads and loads of bras and shoes. What you got for me here, missus? Can I buy something? No, because I have no money. I am a cheapskate. Need to get that ray gun out. Can we get the present? No. No. We can sit down. Good. We can also blast you. Take that, communist. Nah, okay. Because I'm always paranoid that you perma kill these things. She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. So what now? Do we need to go and farm the credits? Get some monies? Get a, a foot on the Wonga train? Well, yeah, you might think that. <coughs> but. Yeah, we got no money. I knew that. I knew that. I was just hoping it would be generous. But it would seem that no matter how many innocent bystanders you mow down in your little experiment, that does not need, but not lead to you getting tons of tons of cash, which is bizarre. All the other tropes this fan game manages to have nail. Did that again? See, apparently one of them is not getting money when you kill things, which is good because I have to say I, I did I did kind of like this. Certainly compared to some of the other bollocks that we played, like fucking Wakana and Nikki and um what's it called? Uh Yoki from Yumi Tuki whatever it's called. Three key. That's it, Yumi Three key. Uh those are obviously at one end of a, a very broad spectrum of fan games, and there's a lot out there. And I want to I want to try and kind of generate a bit of bit of content around these because it's, it's a cool environment um, and there's just content coming out for it all the time and I know there's, there's various people who follow some who even watch the show that uh, are producing these things and I think it's brilliant I may be somewhat negative towards them sometimes but hey that's fine I'm negative towards everything I was talking about cutting my own face off I mean how's that for a charming personality well, so, yeah, I like this. Um, I think it could perhaps do with a bit more content. I mean, we're running around here and uh, not finding the gimmick. All we found is the shop, a vending machine, and a whole bunch of grey men. It's like some kind of giant grey men festival. The grey men group, live in Greytown. Well,. As you can see, yeah, uh, 323 is not grey. She is definitely not grey. 100% not grey. Maybe she's a uh, bi. Yeah, it's a witty joke, yeah. Oh. Just, just kind of things. Even the music here. The music here is nice, but you just you listen to these things on a loop for such a long period of time, you just start going, nah, nah. Nah. Where's the where's the enemy? Where's something that can run out and we'll have to pull a ray gun on it? I'd play that. That looks like a weird shadow at the top left there, but it's not. It's one of the grey men just standing on the, the tiles. This is this is accurate to, to my daily life actually. Just running around in the city, having no money, not being able to buy anything. I don't shoot people with a ray gun. I just do that in my imagination. Can't afford a ray gun. It's just a shame. Hmm. Starting to get a little bit, uh, a little bit worn out by this area. 
hard for a little girl, you know. This is the only way she can make money. She has to go into these crazy adventures. Try and somehow get money. She comes out, got nothing. I'll set back in again, got nothing. It's not a dream, it's a... It's how she lives. How she lives her life. How terrifying. Maybe it's not that bad, actually. Just have to run around the city all day, hope you find some money. Just lying about. It's like being a bum. Being a tramp. Get an instrument. Get a ray gun. And make it... Yeah, okay. Had enough. Had enough. She's like, nah, I'm bored of your stupid shit. Let's fucking save the game. I like how she puts her hand out. The animations are really cool, I have to say. I love the, the whole look and feel of this game. But I don't know how much content there is in it. It feels like it needs a bit more fleshing out, really, before I can properly get my my feet wet. But, um, yeah, so there we go. Overdrive. Overdrive is uh, available to download now. I'll include some links in the description. Um, it's looking like it's got some potential. I, I, I don't know if this is going to become a regular fixture, simply because I, I, I don't know. But we shall see. Anyway, uh, this has been Overdrive. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Let me know if you liked it, and uh, I shall see you next time.